Today I'm going to share with you a little tool that I use to, to work out whether or not um, a martial art or self-defense system is suitable for combat without having to see any of their techniques. So this is the, the eye test stage one and that's something I refer to as fighting posture. Now fighting posture generally refers to I guess a stance or the way your body should be shaped within the context of combat. Now if we look at everyday posture this is the exact opposite of how we should be standing in combat. If you have a look at this, this picture, he's very upright. Every muscle, uh, every joint in his body is at extension, which is where we shouldn't be. What we actually need to be like is a coiled spring that's ready to explode into action in any direction, be it you know, being offensive or defensive or fleeing or whatever the case may be. Um, in this position with full extension, we're not in a position to move. Okay, so any martial art that encourages an upright position, I have issue with and I'll tell you why. So what we should actually look like is more like this. Um, if you have a look at him, the joints in his body are flexed. So if we start, and we're just going to focus on the upper portion of the body today, his hips are flexed, so he's leaning forward. Okay, you have that rounding of the back, which is you know, positioning yourself in that forward lean. His chin is tucked in, vital, absolutely vital, and hands are up. This is exactly what we should look like in our fighting structure, in our fighting stance, whether it's self-defense, uh, whether it's in, you know, in fight, depending on what it is, we need to adopt that sort of posture. Now, why we do this is for a number of reasons. And I've got to give a shout out to Mick Coop from Court Combatties for this. Um, basically, if you look at the spine, if you look at the structure that's supporting our, our head, our brain, um, it's not that resilient. You look, it's not, um, it's not really designed to take impact. If you have a look at it, we are actually designed to absorb the impact of a blow along that path. Because if you have a look at our spine, and this isn't cervical spine by the way, but in between each of our vertebrae, which are like building blocks, we have our little intervertebral discs, which are help to cushion, you know, you've heard of slip discs and various other injuries. Now, we can take a degree of power in that motion, but we can't take it across. You know, if we try to take it across and that blow comes in and hits somewhere in this region and the spine begins to move, um, whether it's forward, back or whatever the case may be, um, this leads to an anterior or posterior translation, which generally spells bad news. And if we're looking and we're talking about it in vertebrae, it's high up on, on the neck, we know that the higher the injury on the spine, the more se severe it is. So looking at this structure, if a blow is hit even to the skull in this sort of position, very, very vulnerable, very vulnerable. So that forward lean, just like in the picture, allows that impact to, to hit more on the top of the skull, which is somewhere I'd rather be hit than in the jaw, and it disperses down along our, our spine, to a degree. Obviously, if you dive head first in the ground off a building, you're not going to absorb that shock. So, all within reason. And I see yeah. plenty of martial arts, such as this one, where they get students to balance bowls of water on the top of their head whilst they do their movements. Now, that's just setting them up for failure. That's just bad, bad all the way around. And, and, and one may argue that, you know what, we do this in our part of our training for the aesthetics, but what you do in training generally tends to appear in a fight to some degree. And if you're spending half your time doing this, chances are it's going to come out in that. Anyone who does fight that way has never had punches thrown at them. You soon learn from day one, you know, you get that negative reinforcement that if you stick your neck out, you're going to get hit, you're going to get hurt. Day one. So if you've ever had a punch thrown at you in the gym, on the street, or wherever the, the, you know it is, you know that's a bad idea. And you know that promoting people to stand in that manner is bad. And if someone does promote it such as this, it's not built for combat and they've probably never experienced combat.